Hi everybody, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name's Nina and I make cozy home videos, chatting, and sometimes just following me around in my little adventures of the everyday life here in Tours in France. Um, just a little background, I am Filipino, but soon will be half French and Filipino because I am based here already in france and i hope you enjoy my videos several other videos i did a vlogmas 2023 and this year i'm doing a bi-monthly schedule so please watch out for the second week of the month and the last week of the month so okay so this is just gonna be my only video of january but don't worry in the next following months they're gonna be bi-monthly it's something that i decided to do starting february Stay tuned. And my future plans for videos in the new year, I'm gonna bring some people in and let's see who's gonna be in my next video, aka my first February video, which I'm aiming to post by the second week of February because I'm trying to do bi-monthly home videos, if not more, we'll see, <laughs> but at least two a month. And I think that's, you know, good enough for something sustainable for now and it doesn't hinder me from doing my other activities in real life and uh yeah i think i just want to keep a healthy balance between being online and living offline you know what i mean i haven't had that much time to record because i went straight back to work my thesis and my work here in tour which is teaching English to kids. It's been a busy month so far, which is good. And a lot of home improvement planning also. If you can see, it's kind of a mess behind me. Well, not really a mess, it's fine. But for me, it's a mess. I like to keep things organized and put things in places where they belong most of the time because I believe that you know a clean house keeps you sane <laughs> and really makes things easier to navigate around the home so that's what i wanted to talk about in the new year we wanted to be more careful with our choices in home stuff and planning um, our buys our purchases because things are really expensive nowadays and especially here in france things are definitely more expensive good to think about the long term making sure you buy things that are of good value um good quality how do you call good value good quality and something that you really really like because if you just want something because it's trendy or it's because well you have the trendy stuff we kind of regret a lot of trendy stuff we've bought in the past. Don't lie. Of course, media pushes these items so much, these ideas so much. Like that, that freaking Stanley Cup thing. I don't understand because I heard that when it tips a bit, it spills. What's the point, right? I mean, for me, for me at least, I don't see the point in that. I want something that's secure, that's not too heavy, not too large, and you know, just right to well serve its purpose which is to make you more hydrated or something going back to furnishing the home or the apartment or the room i really believe in slow designing slow buying and really buying things that could potentially last for decades i honestly believe that and it was my mom who would always talk about buying things that are very good quality even if they can be a bit more on the expensive side at the time that you purchase it but you absolutely need it or you really really really, really, really want, want it because you see the value in it and you see the quality then it would be a good buy but before everything me and um, Bastian's friends had a little Christmas dinner which is first week of January and so funny because I saw the chunks of meat being brought to the table and I was like, oh. oh my god, what are we gonna do with that? Apparently, that's how you do it. The fondue bourguignon, or is it the opposite? Bourguignon fondue, fondue bourguignon, I think. Fondue bourguignon. Basically, you fry meat. I think us in the Philippines never thought of doing that. We usually just grill the meat, right? Like barbecue. But we never like dump it and fry it. Ah, no, no. 
unless it's pork and it's for adobo then probably we do that yes so the first week of january first or second week around the second week me and my friends um did a galette du roi it was so fun during the galette du roi everyone bought brought their own um little brunch item i made my own frittata it's um originally a spanish dish but i put my little twist to it okay more herbs honestly i love putting more garlic onion and tomatoes the trio so so good in any dish and um i was the queen <laughs> and in galette du roi you get a crown if you find the little ceramic toy inside the the galette i know it's funny for you filipinos friends in the philippines because galette is angry but yeah galette is spelled like this and of course my french and english and american friends galette means angry it was just so fun exploring different kinds of food different ways of cooking and i hope we do that in the future we're also planning a karaoke in february and i'm so hyped for that as a filipino we're gonna raise our flags because karaoke is our thing I hope you all enjoy the next clips I've taken from the past weeks. It has been such a busy first month of 2024 and I hope you all are having a good time so far because this is a new year where it's supposed to bring good vibes and just healthy vibes for all of us and yeah. It's like Korean barbecue but with more oil. <laughs> So that was it for this video of January and I'll see you all in February. Please do like this video and subscribe and share it to your friends who you think will be interested in stuff I talk about or we talk about here. Please also comment down below. Whatever they may be, I'm really open to any of them. Ideally, it could be PG, please. As always, thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you all soon.